Hi everybody. Today we're going to read the book The Pawpaw Fruit Does the Cha-Cha Scoot. I do not own rights to this book. I am using it for educational purposes. It was written by Chrissy Bystrom Emery, illustrated by Jason Heglund. Let's get started. Have you heard the latest news? There's a crazy dancing fruit on the loose. Meet Piper the pawpaw fruit. She likes to do the cha-cha in a suit. That slick toed tapping dance will have you stop and stare in a trance. Moving and grooving her fast and fickle feet, sliding and gliding to the sound of the beat. Green, yellow, and oblong in shape, you might even see her wearing a cape. Shh, do you hear that? Roomba, roomba, vroom, vroom. Is that Piper the pawpaw fruit? doing the cha-cha in a suit. Everyone is trying to spot her in action. Going incognito is her reaction. Incognito means in disguise. She's a citrus and banana sensation totally leaving you in anticipation. Boasting her large brown seeds and creamy texture, Piper enjoys her baby seedlings doing the cha-cha right alongside her. There are the seeds. Aren't they cute? Shh, do you hear that? Roomba, rumba, vroom, vroom. Is that Piper the pawpaw fruit doing the cha-cha in a suit? She puts on some sunglasses so no one recognizes her as she passes. Storing vitamins and minerals inside, she tries to walk normally, but it's too much. She breaks into the cha-cha informally. Then it lists all the vitamins that pawpaws have. The crowd is in a frenzy trying to find her. She grabs her cape and spins into a blur. In the midst of all this action, she is spotted taking a selfie. Wanting to remember in this moment as she ripens quite quickly, with a short life on the shelfie. Papas don't last very long on the store shelves. They bruise pretty easily. So she's taking a selfie. Shh, do you hear that? Rumba, rumba, vroom, vroom. Is that Piper the pawpaw fruit doing the cha-cha in a suit? Look at their maracas all kinds of instruments. Onlookers rush in to see the commotion as she moves down the street in a groovy locomotion. She quickly snaps a few more selfies to send for her time undercover is limited and she needs her friends. She hopes they can help her out so she won't have to endure a cha-cha drought. Shh, do you hear that? Roomba, roomba, vroom, vroom. Is that Piper the pawpaw fruit doing the cha-cha in a suit?
Her friends convene to discuss. They ask her why she's making such a fuss. There is no reason to be all hush-hush when everyone just wants to join in the cha-cha rush. Piper pauses to consider, slides down her sunglasses, and without hesitation, joins in with the masses. With her pal's encouragement to be herself and to do her thing, she quickly busts into the cha-cha swing. Shh, do you hear that? Rumba, rumba, vroom, vroom. Piper the pop-off fruit is quite clearly doing the cha-cha scoot. She gives her undercover ways a boot and now enjoys cha cha with the group. Now, when you decide to try a pawpaw, don't be surprised if you start to do the cha-cha. Maybe not in a suit, but that certainly would be cute. And then we can talk more about the amazing pawpaw. Where do I grow? I can be found growing in the eastern half of North America, from the snowy north down to the sunny south. What do pawpaws taste like? They are delicious citrus tasting blend of mango, banana, cantaloupe that varies depending on the variety of pawpaw you, may, you try. They also have a creamy texture. Uh, they also have a creamy textured flesh that can be compared to that of a banana. What do they look like? They're oblong shaped fruit and typically green in color with brown blotches that appear as they ripen. They can have anywhere from three to six, they can be anywhere from three to six inches long and they have large brown seeds. You should try them if you can find them. What's so special about them? They're a member of the custard apple family, which typically grows in warm tropical climates. They're quite unusual because they can grow almost anywhere, even in places where it snows. Grocery stores don't usually sell them because they have a short shelf life and they bruise easily. However, you can grow them in the garden and you can even find them at farmer's markets uh, during the months of mid-August through October, or you can even go for a walk in the woods to find them, pick them, and put them in your pocket. They're full of lots of nutrition and you can eat them just after picked uh, you just peel, eat, and toss the seeds. Some of the best uses come when they're in a puree and you put them in muffins, puddings, ice creams, sorbet, smoothies, or even salsa. Mmm, that sounds good. And they have been enjoyed for hundreds of years, centuries. Native Americans and European settlers devoured them as a delicious treat and they use them for medicine. You can say that they're actually a older fruit. And if you're wondering what fruit that is, that's a dragon fruit. The end. I hope you learned a lot about pawpaws. Here's a little bit about the author. Thanks for watching. Bye.